Hello, the following repair is an Xbox 360 slim model. Uh, no power issue. This particular repair was brought in by one of our local YouTube repairmen. I know he's a YouTube repairman because he brings game systems to me all the time whenever he can't figure out what's wrong. Anyway, he started being smart aleck and told me that he would give me fifty dollars on top of my normal repair fee if I can actually fix this particular box. So <laughs> uh, I told him alright fine and here's the results. Now I'm going to show you the repair. I want you to keep in mind just because I'm showing you a specific repair does not mean that this is what's wrong with your system. For any one symptom, regardless of how small or how identical the description is, your issue can be literally one of a hundred to a thousand different reasons. And if you try to repair something that you cannot actually specifically identify the actual problem, you're going to try and repair something that's not broken and you will destroy your game system and likely to the point that not even somebody like me can actually fix it. So uh, if you can't identify the specific problem, don't do anything. Take it to a shop. It's much cheaper than buying a whole new system. Okay? Keep that in mind and let's take a look at the repair. After testing out the system, I determined that this was the bad component. We'll be replacing this particular component Okay, uh, I've already got flux on it. Sorry, I thought the camera was rolling. <laughs> uh, but that's alright. You can see what I'm doing. I actually got the air too high for doing this, but I'm very good at what I do, so. that big of a difference. And I'm not going to go into details as to how I determined it was this particular component. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup here. And I pulled that off and parts of the component actually came off with it. So we removed the component. Now we got to get a replacement in here. that component sink down. Okay, now the component is slightly out of sync. It's not absolutely perfectly placed. I'm going to clean it up here a little bit. But I, I went ahead and left it slightly crooked so that when I turn it on, you can actually see it's the same system. Always clean up the flux. That stuff can be com become corrosive over time. And if it gets contaminated with a lot of dust and dirt and stuff, it can actually become conductive and short any of the components we buy out. So you want to clean that up. I'm going to do a little bit of an inspection. Sorry, I do use the camera on screen to take a real close look at the port. Excuse me, the port component. Alright, now you 
you see how it's kind of a little off? Just a little bit out of sync. It's not a real big deal. You don't have to be perfect. But I did notice that on the right side of that component, there wasn't enough solder to wick up. So I'm actually going to add just a tiny bit of solder. I'm going to cut off a piece of solder here and add that to it. Drop the camera. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to cut off a very tiny piece of... <laughs> camera slid down again. I'm going to cut off a tiny piece of solder and I'm going to just lay that right alongside the component just to, just to get enough solder for it to wick on that side and make a good solid contact. Uh, like I said, just because I'm showing you this particular repair and replacing this particular component does not mean if you can't find anything wrong with your system that you should be replacing this component. There's little components on this board that can cause no power. So if you go trying to replace or repair something that you don't have no clue as to what you're doing, you can destroy the system. It's pretty heated up a little bit. closer look at it in a minute here. I'm narrating this after the fact. <laughs> okay, so we're done here. We need to do one last cleanup because I added a little bit more clean all, all around the component. And then I'm going to take you out to the garage. Now, my computer camera does not reach the garage. So, uh, I'm going to video that with a cell phone and then throw it into this clip here. I'll let you see that in just a moment. Okay, nice and close. Let's see what that looks like. That's good. See how it's kind of slightly tilted? It's on there, there's a slight divot, but that's that's fine. But you see how it's kind of tilted? It's that's just a slight angle. Not a big deal. You'll be able to see it when you're fired up. Here's the fan running. I already turned it on. See how the component's slightly out of kilt. Same component. You can see the old stamp marks. That's on. Plugged in. And that's it. <laughs> 